I would want to talk about the full adder uh, as the next circuit after the half adder. And uh, this one has got uh, three inputs and two outputs. As you can see, the inputs are given by A, B, and C in. Uh, the outputs are given by the sum and the carriers. So, if you uh, look at this kidney, you'll be able to see that um, the true table is given by A, B, C in, which are these inputs, and uh, the sum and the carryout. So, inside this box, is what we want actually to get out, eh? which is this diagram. How do you generate it? Uh, it will actually be generated by looking at the true table. Then you get the Boolean expressions uh, from this true table. And then from there, you get the logic uh, output. So this is such a that uh, we have eight combinations which start from three zeros to uh, three ones and uh, zero plus zero plus zero will give us zero carry zero. Zero plus zero plus one will give us one carry zero. Uh, zero plus one plus zero will give us one carry zero. Uh, zero plus one plus one will give us zero carry one. One plus zero plus zero will give us one carry zero. One plus zero plus one is just like one plus one which will give us zero carry one. And one plus one plus zero is the same. Uh, which basically gives us um, zero car one. So one plus one plus one will actually be the same as um, it will be the same as uh, one car one. So let's see on how we generate uh, the Boolean expressions from uh, this table and I can use one method that is the method of uh, checking in fact it's, it can be called inspection where we have you check the ones in the expression uh, or in the true table uh, if you look at the sum we have one uh, one appearing at zero zero one another one at zero one zero another one at one zero zero and another one at one 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 so uh, from what you know is that uh, if a variable at the input is zero, then uh, you're supposed to bar that variable. If it's one, you don't bar the variable. So let's look at uh, what happens to all those. And you're looking at the sum is equals to, uh, the first one here is zero, zero, one for the input combinations, uh, which means we have A prime, uh, B prime, and then C is on its own, it is C in, but I will just use a C for convenient purposes. And then the next one we have is zero one zero, which is basically uh, A prime, B, uh, C prime, or uh, the next one is one zero zero, which is basically A, uh, B uh, bar, and then we have C bar. And the last one will be given by uh, one, 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 that is this one here. Uh, that is basically A, B, and C. Uh, please note that that's expression we actually get uh, when you take the variables directly from uh, what we have here uh, in the truth table and changing them to binary form. So how do we get this expression? Uh, coming to A exclusive or B exclusive or C in. Uh, this is what you do. You can take A um, outside the bracket, so A bar, and inside the brackets you are going to have um, a B uh, bar, that's B prime, a C or a B a C prime. Or outside the brackets there, we have A, take it outside the brackets also. Uh, you're going to have inside here B um, a prime or B bar, and then C uh, prime, that is C bar or uh, B C. So if you were to look at these two 
uh, expressions, you realize that. Uh, this one is an X or gate, and this is an X, X nor gate. X or gate for B, uh, X or C, and uh, X nor gate for B, X nor C. So if we equate Y is equals to, uh, we can equate Y, Y is equals to uh, B, uh, prime C or B C prime, which is basically equivalent to uh, B exclusive or uh, C. And uh, therefore your Y bar, that's Y prime, which is actually the, um, that one bad, will basically give us uh, the next one. Uh, or we we'll get this x nor here. You can even just uh, leave it that way. We know uh, we actually know that uh, y bar will be the same as what we have here. So if we substitute uh, y in this expression, then we are going to have a bar, um, then y, or a uh, y bar. Uh, but what is uh, a bar y or a y bar, that's basically a exclusive or uh, y. And uh, what's y? y is basically uh, b exclusive or uh, c. So we take a um, and then we put exclusive or, uh, then we can even take uh, this one, we copy and we paste it here. That gives us a exclusive or B exclusive or C. And uh, that's how this expression comes in. So you have minimized it and you can actually be able to implement it using just one X or gate with three input if it's available. So let's look at uh, uh, C out. How we get uh, C out from uh, the truth table also. And uh, this is what we take, C, then O is equals to. We similarly look at the ones for C out. And the first one is 0, 1, 1. Uh, the second one is 1, 0, 1. The third one is 1, 1, 0. And the fourth one is 1, 1, 1. So these are the ones we have in for our C out. So the first one, which is 0, 1, 1, just change that to variables and it will be A bar, uh, B, C or if the second one is 101, one, it is basically A, B, bar, uh, C, or uh, the next one is 110, one, which is basically A, B, C, bar, or the last one is A, B, C, which is, uh, or is 111, uh, one, one, which is A, B, C. And please know that based on that, we can be able to uh, get our expression given by that. But how do we come to this point of uh, uh, BC or AC or AB? We minimize using Boolean algebra, or you can actually minimize this using the K-map. You can use both or the two of them, uh, the two methods. If I use Boolean algebra, this is what we expect to get. I'll take um, A bar B, A bar B, from here, I think we can be able to pick, um, I, I can be able to pick this last two. So these ones remain. And then for this one, I will take A. Uh, I'll take AB inside, outside the brackets, and inside the brackets, I'll have C or C bar. Uh, but what is C or C bar, it's actually the same as uh, one, and therefore we eliminate it from the expression. So we will be left with um, only A, B like this. So we are left with A bar B, um, A bar B, C, or A, B bar C, or A, B. So what you do with that expression next, you can actually be able to pick uh, the same, and uh, for this, you can take A outside the bracket. So I just pick the same expression, 
a copy and then I paste here um, then I expect uh, so I can have I can have this outside uh, but with this one I introduce uh, brackets here in which case I will have a outside so I'll take a outside then inside I will have uh, b bar c or b so b bar c or b but uh, if you use if, if you use um, distributive law here you realize that the b bar goes based on the a uh, the the distribution law which uses uh, a or um, a bar b so i'm actually using this one uh, a or a bar b which is basically equals to a or b if you look at the distributive laws uh, that's what we are expected to get and that's what we'll use here to minimize this expression so if i quit I, I copy this, all of that, and I will be able to minimize it a bit. So equals to, you realize that my B bar goes based on the distributive law, and we are left with um, A into bracket C or B, which you can actually have as a, a bar a B C or a, a C or A B. Now, if you look at this one, these two, I can take C outside the brackets. So I can still copy this and paste it here. And I can be able to take uh, C outside the brackets. So here I have uh, C, and inside the brackets I have a bar b or a b which is exactly the same as this distributive law and we can actually be able to eliminate the a bar uh, based on the same so i'll get this coming to uh, c into brackets um, we have b or a because the a bar goes based on the distributive law that we have here and then or uh, a B. If we expand this, uh, then you expect to have the equation as um, A B or uh, A C or uh, B C. So B C A C, and that's our expression uh, that we are getting. Uh, when you minimize using uh, Boolean algebra. The other method you can use is the K-map. And uh, for the K-map, you can be able to draw, you can actually draw it because we have three variables. Uh, so I can draw the one for uh, the sum here. And I can do um, some squares here. Or I can just do lines. So we have it here, and I also divide this into two sections, and this one's in two sections. And then uh, we have one straight line here, and uh, at this point we know that we are dealing with uh, our variables uh, A, B,
So we are dealing with A, B here. And we also dealing with C here. So this is zero, zero. Uh, zero, one. Uh, one, one. And we have uh, one, zero. Uh, actually, this is based on the gray scale or the gray the gray code so this is zero uh, this is one and um, where are ones for the sum that's what you pick and the ones are given at zero zero one so we put a one at zero zero one there's a one here another one at zero one zero so we put a one at zero one zero there is another one at one zero zero so one zero zero p square we put a one another one at one 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 which is this one 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 we put a one there you realize that all of these cannot make a group and therefore what you do you just have them on their own so you circle them And you realize that um, this will just give you three variables, a bar, b bar, c. This will give you a bar, b, c bar. Uh, this will give you, uh, this one will give you a bar, b, um, a, b bar, c in bar. And this will give you a, b, c in. But of course, I'm using c to shorten uh, the expression. Then, that is the sum, which basically is this expression uh, we got here. So just the same. And uh, if we get the carry out, uh, this is what we will do. We place the ones also accordingly. And um, So I'll have my ones for the carry out, which are uh, zero, one, one. So you put zero, one, one, zero, one, one. That's what we have a one. The next one, if you read is one, zero, one. So one, zero, one is this one. The next one is one, one, zero, which is this one. So one, one, zero, you put it here. The next one is one, 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 uh, which is basically this one. And uh, you realize now you can form groups of two. So you can actually be able to form groups of two. So I can group them. And this is what I'm going to use. So I can group this ones. I can group this ones. And I can also group uh, uh, these ones. So we need to move. So you basically have those groups. So I group this one, and I also group this one like that. So this forms a group. This forms a group. This forms a group. And you start with this first group, it's one, one, which is constant. Uh, please note that you are not moving horizontally, so 
we are not moving horizontally from this square to any other square in the neighbors, uh, then we expect that uh, A remains one, B remains one, it's constant. Uh, but when you move downwards, you realize that C will be changing from zero to one. So our expression then, we have gotten the A, B that we have here. I can be able to put it down up here so that you see how it comes about. Uh, so we are talking about C out. I need to change uh, this to C out, even this one. So here we are doing C out. <clears throat> and we have seen that we have A, B as the first one, uh, this group. Then this group, um, for this group we are talking about uh, from here to here, uh, B is constant at one. So we put B there. And then from uh, vertically, we are not moving anywhere, it is C, which is actually constant. So we are left with B, uh, C, or the last group, this one here. Uh, moving from here, you can see clearly that we are able to get um, A being constant, B is changing from one to zero, so we basically put A here, and then and. If you look at this one, you are not moving vertically, therefore we are remaining at C is equals to one, uh, which gives us uh, A and C. So that's how we are getting our expression of AB or BC or AC. And uh, that's how we get the two expressions for the sum and the carry out. And then you can be able to see here we have uh, uh, a diagram which is generated with the sum. Um, please note that here we are using uh, two x or gates, I think because in most implementations, some software only allows or they just have two inputs x or gates available, and therefore to implement it uh, using two input x or gates, this is how you do it. Take the two x or b first, pass it through an x or, then the output together with c, you pass them through uh, another x or gate to be able to get. Uh, the sum that we are getting here. So, and then the carry out, we are looking at um, this is B and this is A. So, AB, we have this one coming here as AB. Uh, then down here, we have A. Um, so, please know that this is A, uh, B. This A, B here, but this one is A, then you realize that uh, C is also coming in. That gives us A, C, which comes here. And then finally, we are looking at this coming from A here, and then C. So the last one is A, C, but the second one, uh, we are getting it coming from B. So this will be B. Uh, C, of course C in, uh, this A, uh, B, and then uh, this is coming from A down, and then this other one is coming from C, then when they go in we have uh, A, C. And that basically gives us the C out expression, uh, which is given by this. Um, so, if you can be able to get the SEDO code for maybe software implementation.
we'll take uh, the truth table and we can see that um, if a is equals to uh, zero i can actually use that then if you look at uh, the sum for a is equals to zero down up to this point you'll see that the sum is equals to a it's actually bx or c then uh, sum uh, sum is equals to a x or c and the carry out is equals to what is the carry out? It's actually uh, B and C. I just check from the check from this zero 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 one, and uh, you are looking at B C because A we have we have it as a constant of two zeros. Eh? So this becomes a uh, b and c actually, and then else else our carry out um, because when you have now a is equals to one, uh, our sum uh, will be equivalent to uh, just look at this one zero zero one. That's equivalent to b. Um, you can use either the complement or you can just use the uh, the prime. So I can use this complement. Then in brackets, I put B, X, or uh, C. And then I close brackets. And the carry out is equals to. Uh, this is zero one one one, which means B or C. So B or uh, C. That will be the pseudo code. One of them. Uh, please know that we can have many pseudo codes out of this, depending on how you look at this truth table. You can have quite a number. And if you want to do this in programming, then you can implement it in whichever program that you want to use or programming language that you want to use. So this can also be implemented using different software, simulation software. Uh, so sometimes you use circuit maker, maybe I'll be able to show how that one can be implemented. And that's all about the uh, full adder uh, circuit. Thank you.